What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to talk about the newest method to get Sky Shards that's working on console. As you can see, I'm playing on console, depending on what gave it away to you. And we're going to talk about the newest way you can get those Sky Shards, how you can do it easily, what you need to do, and we're going to jump right on into it. So I'm going to firstly hit the map button, and then I'm going to go down into the open zone guide. For those of you who don't see it, it's at the bottom middle of the screen. Opening the zone guide, and I'm going to explore this zone. So for those of you who don't know and have completed most zones, it will go in order of left to right of taking you to complete the next thing. So this is the fastest way to pick up on any zone story quest. You don't know where you need to go. Hold X, hit the X button right now, and it would take you, if I hadn't done the zone story, it would take me right into it. But because I have not Sky Shard hunted and I'm missing two Sky Shards, it is going to take me to the exact location of those two Sky Shards that I need to go get. So I'm about to go run and grab this Sky Shard, and I will touch base with you guys when I get to the Sky Shard. And bada bing bada boom, you can tell me, or you can see right here, it takes you right to the Sky Shard. I'm in the dell that it took me to, which was over here. And I will activate this Sky Shard, and it's going to even do something even nicer for me here in just one second after I pick this up. And it's going to ask me if it wants to take me to the next Sky Shard zone. If I continue exploring by going over to the option on the left, it's going to take me exactly to where that one is, which is inside this delve right here. So just briefly, let's talk about what you need to do for a zone like this. So for me, as the Alakir Desert, as I've done everything else in here, I've discovered all the locations, the Mundus Stones, completed the Anchors. The next thing for me to complete is those Sky Shards. So this is a great way for those of you who have mostly completed zones just by playing the game. You can see that I have zones like that for Glenumber, for example, where I've pretty much done the entire zone. So if I were to explore this zone, the first thing it's going to ask me to do is to go to a striking location. Then it's going to ask me to go over on this left side to a crafting zone. Then it's going to take me to a Munda Stone. Then it's going to ask me to do the anchor, the two world bosses, and then it will show me where the final five Sky Shards are. So if you're like me and you're on a quest to alphabetically complete every single zone in the game this is extremely helpful and it's also extremely helpful if there's a zone that is just absolutely terrible for sky shard hunting but as a reminder too sky shards when you pop up next to you will now be on your map regardless of if you're doing this method or not so that's another neat way that they've gained uh gave us a little bit of advantage now as you no longer have to use add-ons anymore because obviously microsoft does not allow us to use add-ons unfortunately but we thank the developers for putting this in because it certainly is helpful even if you don't do this method and you only do it where you see that on the mini map it's an extremely helpful method but that's all i have for you guys today and i'll talk to you in a while guys you better remember to like and subscribe to jake clips or you should i might have to pluck your eyes if you don't or better yet i'll skip rope with your entrails do it now subscribe ta-ta off with you.